Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am the Crescent, and today we're going to be looking at a beautiful weapon mod replacer. It is called Nikoroshi's All-in-One Vanilla Bow Replacer. And it is by the amazing weapon mod author Nikoroshi. And as the name indicates, it is a replacer. It is a texture replacer for most of the vanilla bows in the game. Uh, this one does not have an ESP. It is a texture replacer only. It does not add any weapons to the game, although he has another mod that does that. We'll be talking about that one in another video. I'll put a link to this in the description. You can get this mod from the other mod that I was just talking about. Uh, both of those are on the same mod page. But again, it is called Nikoroshi's all-in-one vanilla bow replacer so let's take a look at some of these and it replaces a lot of bows in the game and the arrows as well there's the ancient Nord bow Very beautiful work. And the arrows. Dragon bone arrow and bows. Now the arrows do look a little bit different. You don't notice it as much unless you're picking them up. But the quivers are all have all been redone as well. So once again, this is just a well, I'll say just, but is a texture replacer for the vanilla bows in the game. And he does have another mod that adds bows to the game and uh, we'll get a look at that one in another video this is the drain spell now this one does not have its own arrows like some of them do the dragon born uh, dragon bone excuse me um, dwarven ebony elven those have their own arrows but not all of them do oh we missed the daedric bow well, we got to look at that. First, we'll take a look at it on the back. There's the arrows in the quiver. And the bow itself. Pretty amazing stuff. All right, Dwarven Arrow and Bow. I've always felt this quiver looked really heavy. You know, like it's built out of Dwemer metal and it just, it looks like it would be really heavy. But that's just me. The Dwarven Bow. It looks like it's got some lightning right here and right here. And it might be because, you know, those spiders use shock damage. And that's how it looks on the back. Next is Ebony Bow and Arrow. Here's the quiver. And the bow itself. So if you've ever felt like the vanilla bows in the game just left a little something to be desired, 
This is definitely a mod you want to take a look at. And that's how it looks on the back. All right, next up, the Elven. Lots of uh, featherish-looking stuff, as you might expect. I don't know what the Elven's fascination with birds is, but and this bow here looks very different than the other ones. It clearly is made of wood. It's pretty neat how this is kind of a uh, curved inwards right here and right here. This bow looks like it could really do some damage, you know? And there it is on the back. All right, next, Falmer, the quiver. Looks like this one's made out of feathers too. Or whatever it is the Falmer use, I don't know. There's an interesting looking bow right here. I think this one has probably the most dramatic change from the vanilla you've got that teal color in the black and the bowstrings even a teal color that's uh, that's interesting that looks pretty good looks like there's a little bit of purple up in there too Oh yeah, definitely. Looks different here on the back. The, the top of the bow is a uh, purple-bluish color. Alright, next. Forsworn. Now some of these, like the, the Forsworn and probably the uh, the Dwarven stuff, it's not a whole lot different in design from the vanilla. It's just a whole lot more high resolution. I'm talking about the arrows now. The bows are vastly different. That is the force horn. Here's how it looks on the back. All right, next glass. And the bow. This one's pretty interesting because it's definitely looks like it's wood with some uh, glass material inlaid. Nice design, right in here, right in here. And there it is on the back. Hunting bow, there are no hunting arrows, so there's no quiver to look at. So we'll just look at the bow itself. And again on the back. Longbow. Starting a little more look a little more like a proper longbow. You know, it's a little disappointing that the longbow is the weakest bow in the game because you know, historically these were devastating weapons. 
had incredible range. The Nightingale Bow, again there's no Nightingale Arrows, but we do have the Nightingale Bow. Nice little design right there and there. Very polished, very smooth, very polished. But I see these bows in here and I think, man, I, I can't wait to use these. There it is on the back. I don't know, did we, did we look at the, uh, I don't know if it really matters, there's the long bow on the back. Nord Hero. This looks like it's made out of some type of bone. I guess I could remove those glass arrows. Nordic arrow, Nordic bow. Quite a difference from vanilla, isn't it? Amazing detail. This one's even got a little, uh, I don't know what you call that, a little wheel or something there to keep the bow from, the bow string from rubbing against the bow. That's very interesting. I've never seen that before. And on the back. Two more. Orkish. Now, I've never been a big fan of the way that Orkish weapons look, but uh, this bow is light years ahead of the vanilla stuff. And last one is Stalrum. So you can see the the design on here. It's like the, the Stalrum ore is built into it, but it clearly looks like a, a wooden sword. Um, bow. Jeez, a wooden sword. I'm sorry, I have a very bad cold. I'm sure you can tell by the, the way I sound. Um, yeah, I just got over a bad cold a couple weeks ago. and I don't know if it's a new one or if it's just uh, making its uh, rounds again. Making a comeback. But there you go with the stall room. So next video we're going to be looking at another mod from Nico. It's another bow mod, but this one is not a bow replacer. It adds 
uh, quite a few. I'm not even sure exactly how many. I'll have to take a look at that. But it adds a whole bunch of bows to the game that are craftable. They are unique. They are custom bows. Uh, and they're not only are they craftable, but Nico doesn't leave you hanging. He puts one copy of each somewhere in the world. And that is a mod called Bogasm. Now, if you're interested in this mod, you go to the uh, mod page for Bogasm, and that's where you'll find the file for this one. This one is a uh, texture replacer, so it doesn't have an ESP, but Bogasm does. But we'll be looking at that one in the next video. So that is going to do it for now. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, and I will see you next time.